Now, I wanted to show you, this is an application of the fantasy paper, fantasy opals paper, on a gourd. And how you do this, and you can also do this on wood, and Zeb did some of this on her shrine when she was here in September for the art retreat. I believe it's on our blog, so you can go there and look and see what a beautiful piece of artwork she developed using this on her wooden shrine. So this can be used on a lot of surfaces. And to do this, you want to take a Stuart Superior stamp and stick pad. This is a black, it also comes in clear. For a large application like this, I like to use the black because I can see exactly where I put it. If I use the clear, it's hard to tell. I use the clear when I'm inking a stamp and want to use it that way. So in large applications, black is better. This is a heat activated glue. So we're going to get out our heat tool. Move my iron here. And we're going to heat this. Now, as you're heating this, you can see on camera how shiny that is. It will start to dull down. You want to give this a lot of heat. Don't worry about overheating it. It's better to overheat it than underheat it. Because as it gets hot and it gets matte, it gets very tacky. Now, this is a heated heat tool that was produced by Ranger. For some reason, Ranger stopped making them. If you're ever in Walmart or Joann's or one of the craft stores or even your local rubber stamp store or scrapbook store, if they have one of these available, grab it. They're wonderful. They get just as hot as a Milwaukee or any of the other heat tools, but they're very low blowing. So for applications like this, or using our opals embossing enamels on chipboard or anything, this is really a wonderful tool to use because it doesn't blow the powders and things all over everywhere. And what I'm going to do is take a piece of our opals fantasy paper and I'm just going to cut a little small piece here. And I'm going to layer that over my glue and that will hold that in place. Cut another piece. Let's see. About like that. You don't have to be real exact with this. And it can overlap. It doesn't hurt anything. And then what I'm going to do is take my hot iron again and I'm going to run my hot iron over this. That activates that hot glue even more. And it makes all the colors in the fantasy film just pop even more. I hope you can see that, what that's doing. And you can keep layering. You can get a lot of depth and dimension. And then when you're finished, and you have this exactly the way you want it to look, you can take any of the golden products, the glossy, I would prefer to use the glossy mediums on this, but some of you may prefer the mattes, it doesn't matter, it's all personal choice. And then I really like either crackle accents or any of the crackle mediums over this, just get beautiful. And when you lay those mediums over here, it just becomes transparent that you even have anything layered on here. It will just all become part of the gourd and just be seamless. So play an experiment. Use it on wood. Use it on paper. A lot of different things you can use it on. And you can see how pretty this is. Just gets beautiful. Now I also want to show you this little clay pot I've been working on. And this also has the Opal's Fantasy paper on it. 
I've used some crackle accents and this is still a work in progress. I used um, the pumice, the golden pumice medium on here and some of the, <coughs> excuse me, Memories Mist spray. And I'm going to wrap probably some seagrass around here and some seagrass around the bottom just to cover any rough edges. This is going to be beautiful. I just got some new African violets and so I want to put my violets in these. So I'm going to make a couple. This one's been fun to do. So that's it for right now. Till later. Thank you. If you have any questions, send me an email at linda at amstamps.com or call on our toll-free number that's on our website. Thank you. Have a great holiday season.